Howdy folks, so it actually dawned on me recently that I haven't done a custom showcase in a long time. And so I was rummaging through my collection, which has greatly expanded since the August collection update. Yeah, it was in August. And so I went through my collection and was looking at some customs that I could do for a custom showcase. And I happened upon these two uh, van fellas. So without further ado, here are my custom jobs on... on Earthrise Ironhide and Galactic Odyssey Ratchet. So we'll start with a lesser one of them because I am doing these in one video because they're basically the same custom for the most part. So there's gun. So to basically get through the gist, uh, Ironhide, the only main thing I did was I painted the inside of his windshield black and his van window shins black. The reason I did this is because I thought the like just the wall of red that he was wasn't the prettiest to look at because also he has three different shades of red. He has oh, hold on, I got smudge on the window. He has deep red for his feet. He had and forearms. He has muted red for his head and torso. And then he has like, I'm not sure if it's coming on camera, but he has like a purplish maroon for his elbows. And it's really weird and so all the contrasting reds really just form together to make an ugly picture. And so I think that the color breakup of the black really helped fix this. And I think it makes it look more interesting. Though there is one thing I have noticed if you look up right here, I'm not sure if that comes up well. I think it should, but I know I'm starting to notice a little bit of a crack in his windshield. This is actually surprisingly uh, not uncommon for this mold, as the unlike the previous Ironhide from Siege, where he had a plastic connector with a uh, translucent frame, his whole ch uh, chest there is translucent plastic, so yeah, no, it's a bit rough. Uh, haven't really transformed him that much. I wasn't going to show the transformation in this video, because also it is to note that I did not paint the windows on his shield, so it actually won't match. It's mainly because I leave, I don't, again, I don't really transform uh, some of the Earthrise exclusives that much because they are A, hard to get, and B, they're very fragile. Like I, I broke my smoke screen, and I was very fortunate enough not to break my prowl, which I was really happy about. But, so yeah, this is based on my custom. And to differentiate the molds on my shelf, because like I said, since they're both 84 Autobots, they share the same shelf space, I gave Ironhide his... Sh his like van slab in shield mode and then ratchet is in the backpack orientation originally I was gonna do it opposite way but I don't know what it is but I, I just think ragged ratchet looks better chunkier well I think Ironhide the shield makes more sense but to each their own anyway so moving over to the other guy tonight ratchet so he had more of a direct custom. Well, like, he, his was more in-depth, so part of that had to do with me fixing the figure out of the box. Because I'm going to try and get a zoom in on this on his head sculpt for a sec. Uh, just please work. Uh, getting up to his head sculpt for a sec. So I had to shave off and repaint his entire crown. Because when I got it in hand, when I got my Galactic Odyssey box set in hand after a two-month delay, mind you, there was a massive bubble and a paint chip. So, like, there was a bubble right here of paint, and there was a chip on the other side right there. And it looked awful, honestly. Then he also had some issues on his face. His face, I was able to just cut the weird bumps away, and not too worse for wear, but I had to completely repaint the crown. But luckily, that was about the extent I had to do when it came to, uh, like, out-of-the-box repairs. And then, outside of that, I did, I gave him the same Ironhide treatment. 
he got the color breakup too, and honestly, I say it looks even better on him just because of the contrast. He also has contrasting colors with the red, which is a perfect segue into the last part of the custom, which is the red hands I gave him. I'm not going to lie, I did do these quick. I actually only did these like a week ago. Uh, there's only like one coat of paint on here, and I didn't paint the inside of them because I don't want the paint rubbing off due to his, him holding his pistol. But still, I think it helps go with the match. I like Ratchet with red hands. He almost got the red crown too, but I thought that was going to be a bit too much red. I also don't have much attachment to the Marvel version of Ratchet, which uses said red crown on his head. And then, alright, so bring these two together for a group shot. So that's basically was my the gist of my custom with the Ironhide uh, with the Earthrise Van Mold. One other thing I'd like to point out is if you look on the unfolded flaps here, I have actual Earth tires. They don't, they roll pretty well actually for being 3D printed. I got these from JRC Design on eBay. He, on the TFW forum, he's known as Wheeljack Fan 16. I've actually owned a lot of his. 3D printed upgrade kits, and they are truly, they are truly awesome. I have enhanced a good portion of figures now using them, and they work great. I have bought two sets when he had these up, and I don't regret them the slightest. They were like the last touch these figures that they needed because they were almost felt perfect in er in their van mode. Thanks to the shield that like parts forms over them, but they still had the siege robotic uh, like Cybertron tires, and that just irked me. And these just make them mwah, chef kiss. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be back at some point.